What it do, moaning a beat, and I'm back with another Suno tutorial. Suno is stepping it up. They just had a new update, Suno Studio 1.1, and right now we about to get right into it and show y'all the latest features. Let's go. All right, so Suno just updated Suno Studio to version 1.1, and it came with four major updates. The first update is the track equalizer. So now you can go to any track and equalize and EQ and tweak up your track. That was a blessing for me because I, I wanted to do that a lot and I couldn't. So let's go try it out. All right, so these are all my tracks here, right? So all you have to do is click on a track. Let's say we click on the drums. And then you come over. Now that you have it selected, you come over here and you click track and now come up. Typically, it's on clip like this. But if you click track right here, it'll come up and you're able to kind of like just move around, you know, typical EQ stuff. You'll be able to EQ it and do what you need to do with it. Um, this is a game changer for me because I, I was trying to do this for the longest. So that's how you do it. Click the track, come right here, then do your EQ. The next update they did was loop recording. So now you can select a portion of your track and loop record it. Let's do an example. So to, to loop record, all you have to do is click the track, highlight the section you want to loop. So just say I wanted to loop this section right here. Highlight that section, come down here, click loop. Now when you record it, As it's record, whatever you want to record, it'll just loop it. Now watch. You see, it just goes right back to the top. Now, I personally wouldn't use this that much, but, you know, some people, they like might want to fix something or do multiple takes. That's how you do it. And it's just going to loop and loop and loop till you stop. Um, this is good for probably like when you're recording, when you're recording your own vocals and you just want it to just keep loop recording. But that's how you do that. Let's go to the next one. All right, so the content window. So content window, from what I understand, is uh, once you select a section, it will just focus on this particular section. So if you want to generate something, create something, it'll just focus on that particular area of the section. Now, what's before it, what's, it with, what's in these bars right here and after it won't be affected. Only this part will be affected, from what I understand. So you can play around with it to get an idea of how that works. Um, now, the last update is uh, a new design to the project library. So um, I'm not going to lie. I was having issues when I was looking for certain projects in the library. So let's go over here. Um, so now in the library, it's kind of simple. You just click over here, open project. You click over here. And now you have your newest ones are first. Easy. You can search for your project. And then you could also go to recently deleted. So um, and you could go to oldest first. So you could kind of like, you know, if you're unorganized like myself, you could kind of like find what's what going on in here. But yeah, that's pretty much um, that's pretty much the new updates play around with it. I'm pretty sure it's going to give you um, some more, you know, some more freedom. So as y'all can see, Suno Studio is not playing. They keep raising the bar. And this by far is the leading producing platform for AI and AI music. Moan on the beat. Like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, we gone.